Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display images in your forms and reports based on numbered image files. For example, you've got like 1.jpg, 2.jpg, and so on, associated with some kind of a record in your table, like a customer ID, product ID, whatever. Today's video is kind of a spinoff of yesterday's video about how to display images in a subfolder that's under your database folder. So go watch this first and the other prerequisites for this video. And then come on back when you're done with that one. Today's question comes from Quentin in Clifton, New Jersey, one of my platinum members. Quentin says, thank you for yesterday's video on displaying images in a subfolder of the database folder. That's very helpful. I have a situation where all of my products have pictures associated with them, and the name of the file is equal to the product ID.jpg. Is there a way I can display those images based on that data instead of having to put a file name in a field? Well, yes, Quentin, essentially what you'll do is you'll just use that ID field or product code or whatever you've got in replacement of the file name field that we added to the table to display the image. Let me show you how to do it. So here's the database we built yesterday. We got our database folder, right? And then we got our images folder under it. So essentially what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need to have images that represent some field in your table. So if it's a product ID or a product code, right? PN1024.jpg or whatever, all right? I'm just gonna renumber these. We'll call this one 1.gif. We'll make this one 2.gif. And I know Picard is four, so we're going to make Picard four. <laughs> and this one, now this one's a JPEG. All right, I had three animated GIFs and a JPEG. Now, to do this, you're going to have to have all files of the same type. You can't have some GIFs and JPEGs. And yes, it's GIF, people. GIF, graphic, not graphic. It's not GIF. <laughs> Long-standing debate. I just settled it. Um, but you got to have all the same file types. So if you got GIFs or JPEGs, you have to convert them all to one or the other, or this ain't going to work. Yeah, you could get a little more creative with some VB code and say, okay, if 4.gif doesn't, exi doesn't exist, look for 4.jpg. That's beyond this video. If you guys really want to see how to do that, let me know. Maybe I'll make another developer level video for that. But at this point, if you're a beginner, you're going to have to make sure they're all the same file type. All right. And there are conversion utilities out there. Um, here's a trick, by the way. You can just rename a JPEG to put a GIF extension on it. If I made this 3.gif, and hit enter it's going to yell at you do you want to change it yeah but you know what it still works if you open it up it'll still open up just fine okay um you can't go the other way with animated gifs though like this is an animated gif right <laughs> right and if you rename that to a jpeg all right it won't display properly because that's an animated gif you're only getting part of it that's a frame rate thing but you can just keep it as a uh, regular GIFs, I do believe you can do that with, but not animated ones. Anyways, so make sure you got them all the same file type. JPEG, GIF, PNG, th the different file types that Access supports. I recommend either JPEG, GIF, or PNG. Once you've got these all numbered associated with your records, you can now go in your database. And we no longer need that file, right? We no longer need that file name field, that profile picture field. Get rid of it there. Delete. Goodbye. Right, close it, save it. Uh, you can get it, get rid of it out of the form too. Get rid of you, you bigger. Delete that uh, and make this bigger like that. There you go. Okay, now let's bring up this guy's properties and right here, I never named it, did I? Ooh, let's call this uh, image object or whatever you want to call it. Now, the control source, I'm gonna click on here, Shift F2 to zoom in. Instead of profile picture, we can put the customer ID there and then make sure on the end you tack on .gif or .jpg or whatever your file type is. Okay, hit okay. Now we can close that, close that. We can save this, close it, open it, and oh, there we go. Look at that. And maybe the access team will make it display animated GIFs in the future. <laughs> All right, there's two, there's three. There's four. And again, if you've got a product with the product number, you just have to make sure that you name the image files appropriately. That's all. Okay? Okay. 
that's pretty much it. That's that's it's that simple and straightforward. You just got to make the file name in the image object represent the data that you've got in your image folder, right? If you like working with images and you want to learn more about them, I've got an imaging seminar where I cover all kinds of stuff about images, uh, lots and lots of different stuff. And I show you how to like make an imaging server where you can browse for files and then it'll upload them to the server for, folder for you automatically, all kinds of stuff. All right, editing images right in place inside your database. Lots of cool stuff. I will put a link to that down below. And that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. 
Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.